there are so many kinds of television programs, fictional programs, uh, that it's very difficult to answer that question. Um, uh, even uh, the, the notion of uh, you know 40 or 60 episodes. 40 or 60 episodes uh, would be just uh, two or three years. Uh, something like The Sopranos went on for nine years, or Six Feet Under went on for six or seven years. And so they've got hundreds of episodes. On the other hand, um, Law and Order lasted 20 years, uh, but Law and Order is the kind of a television series in which um, each episode has a certain format and each episode is closed. And so uh, you repeat the same fundamental uh, form uh, 20 or 22 times a year uh, for 20 years. You've got 440 episodes of the original Law and Order. And so the first thing you have to ask is a pilot for what kind of series? Uh, is it a series of closed episodes, uh, such as uh, Law and Order? Is it a series of um, um, uh, linked episodes or story being told um, that lasts for a certain period of time, such as that great series, uh, Damages? Uh, a television series like Damages um, it has a long-form story, uh, but it, it's a, it's a mini-series, and each year there's a different um, a case uh, for Patty Hughes to solve. And so there's, uh, I don't know what is it, 16 episodes or something like that, in which, um, in which it's going to be closed, more or less, uh, and um, the case will be dealt with somehow uh, by Patty. But there are ongoing stories uh, in uh, that series as well that uh, continue from, uh, from year to year and her relationship with uh, certain supporting characters. Uh, whereas, again, the, the Sopranos um, was uh, nine years of um, endless um, uh, storytelling over nine years of time. And so do you have closed episodes? Do you have uh, limited series? Uh, do you have an open-ended uh, series? Uh, soap operas uh, last, uh, again, decades and decades, and they are open-ended. And so um, that's the first thing you have to determine, because uh, determining that is going to have a, a lot of effect on everything else you do. Uh, the next thing you have to decide, I think, is, um, is the most important aspect of all is cast, uh, cast design. In order to um, have a successful repetition of the same format, like in Law and Order, or anything that lasts a season uh, or, or seasons, um, it's really uh, the key is uh, the cast design. And, um, and of course, uh, the cast design is in great part determined by uh, genre, courtroom drama in uh, legal dramas and uh, damages, uh, crime stories and law and order, or um, domestic drama uh, mixed with uh, career uh, tales and uh, um, uh, in, um, in uh, Nurse Jackie. Uh, Nurse Jackie is an open-ended series, and, uh, and she is, a, of course, a great character, and she's leading a, a double life. She pretends to be a single woman at the hospital where she works. Um, she's married and has uh, two kids at home, and um, uh, she tries to keep these um, separated as best she can. Um, and, so, um, and so you have to pick the genre, domestic drama, crime stories, courtroom dramas, medical dramas, whatever, uh, mixture of the two, as in uh, Nurse Jackie, of domestic drama, family story on one hand, and uh, hospital uh, drama on the other. Um, and so you've uh, got to choose genre. Out of that will then uh, come a design of cast. Picking the genre is very important, but once you're in that genre, what really matters, of course, is the cast of characters uh, to act out that particular genre. I think um, that's uh, the other things, questions of morality, I mean, Nurse Jackie's a drug addict, uh, that's a dangerous choice. Um, questions of morality uh, and values of that sort uh, seem to come with the choice of uh, a genre and the design of cast. So um, I would set that sort of um, the, the values aside for the moment, and I'd really concentrate on character, getting a beautifully designed cast where every single character is wonderfully unique and every single character helps bring out the dimensions of every other character that they encounter. Um, 
again, just to mention a favorite of mine at the moment, uh, Nurse Jackie. Uh, the cast design of Nurse Jackie is a model of uh, brilliance, of, um, of individual characters in a, an incredibly uh, complex and uh, very revealing network. And uh, I've only seen uh, the first uh, season of uh, Nurse Jackie, and I'm into the second season, three or four episodes. And I have to tell you, I am very concerned about Nurse Jackie. Uh, her life is imploding. I don't know how the hell she's going to get through this. And uh, that's got me hooked. <laughs> and uh, what's hooked me is uh, Nurse Jackie. And uh, Eddie Falco's incredible performance and all the other brilliant actors and this wonderful cast of characters. That cast of characters in Nurse Jackie, as in The Sopranos and Six Feet Under and these other wonderful characters, creates the possibility of endless storytelling. Um, these characters are so rich and so um, uh, developable and uh, that, that the writers can sit back at some point every month or every year and just pose all kinds of what would happen ifs. What would happen if uh, Jackie's uh, lover discovered that she was married? Uh, what would happen if, um, if Tony Soprano's mother put a hit out on him? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it goes on and on and on. And so it all comes out of cast. So that's where I put all my uh, creative efforts. Great, a great cast of characters in a genre, a combination that you, uh, that you know, and then, um, then see where the storytelling takes you in terms of values and moralities and so on.